well, welcome back to Ultra Sun and Moon. Well, normal Sun and Moon in the last part. We finally managed to get to Crystalia's after after time wasting our tits off once again. And I finally will finally get to some progress after after an hour and a half. An hour and a half of att recording attempts. Oh yeah, it can blast lasers and destroy stuff. Oh yeah, with seeds. Oh yeah, that's that's great. And it's about damn time. After an hour of non-stop swearing, alcohol inside me last night, trying to capture this, we finally get both of them. Oh no, it was Sandile, Sandile, Polyrag, Dugtrio, Sandile, Sandile, Polyrag, Polyrag, Awaknid. Probably another Aquaknid. Oh, oh, one pops up now after. Oh, oh, well, do you want to know what happened when I originally played this game when I weren't recording it? When I weren't recording when I first bought the game and I got to this bit? The Heligo. Pharaomossa, Pharaomossa, shiny diglet. A rat, one rat attack, then Pharaomossa, Pharaomossa. Two circuitry straight away. Two crustelia straight away in the desert. Gu Gu Guzzlord you get straight away, because I think you see his big body, I think, I'm not sure, but... I don't know if you see him as a wild encounter, or I think it might be a wild encounter, but Guzzlord straight away, the Cosma straight away, oh, but not the, but not while I'm recording, not when I'm trying to provide you decent gameplay, oh no, let, let's, let's have no Ultra Beasts, let, 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 let's have no Ultra Beasts, say, destroying the world, no, let's, let's make our, yeah, let's make, let's wear our pointless age, secret agent uniform. I finished sending the data from the UB and HQ to Miss Week as well. Thank you for your hard work, Callum. We've learned everything there is to know about the Crystalia, also known as UB Blaster. And we have word from HQ. There's only one UB left to take care of. And, and that is Gluttony, aka Guzzlord, the Dark Dragon type. And we have our hands full with so many individuals looking for this last UB. It's a rather strange creation, but are you, are you alright, Chief? Of course, me me and my Pokemon will fight. Of course, we're into them, but being surrounded by you, be and outflanked by them, made rather touch and go for a while. As I feared. And what is it, Mr. Looker? You've been acting rather wild for a while now, haven't you? Ah, no, it's nothing. Could it be? Could it be a, a long delayed feast? Oh, yes, indeed. What a disaster that you have found me out. Truth is, I'm starving. Just starving how a Snorlax feels. I know exactly now. How hopeless you are, Mr. Looker. I suppose we've been putting off for a far long time. You must be hungry indeed. Allow me to take this time and find a delicious restaurant for us all. Ah, yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. It's embarrassing to admit, but I'm actually quite famished myself. You two stay while I go find a place to stay and eat. The chief can't take much more, I guess. She must be exhausted. She acts particularly cheery when she's feeling unwell to pride her weakness from others. There's something I'd like to tell you. 
It's something that happened about 10 years ago now, a KG and Lola region at that time as part of the free person team to eradicate the UB. Of course we didn't know the UBs back then, it was simply a dangerous creature. The team succeeded and chased down the UB and then we tried to put an end to it. But somebody screwed up. Nanu! This heart felt it full here, felt sorry for the monster, even if only for a moment. That moment was enough to get the third member of our team done in by the UB. This I cannot deny. I made an error of judgement. I failed to consider the fact that she's not trained for combat. She was just bait for the UB. And the international police knew it. The UB relentlessly seeked out those who had passed through a through wormhole. The passage must have changed somehow as the through of bathing some energy. Oh, the beast could smell our sense. It's though that UB can track such people down sniffing them out. It's not, not like the monster come here by a choice. They don't want to be here. So they smell a familiar scent and think that's to be the wormhole and they'll get home. Nanu, you caught her bait. She really was, wasn't she? Faller. That's what the international police call them, humans who appear from an ultra wormhole. And those that bathe in a great deal of the energy that pours out of them came from an ultra wormhole, she was from another world. And she was part of that thing that was drawn to you beyond to us. And now you're repeating history. You've got a faller right here, haven't you? That's right, boy, I'm talking about you. Yes, it's true, he passed through an ultra wormhole. Cal was supposed to be energy, so he may indeed be a faller, but... I kick ass. I kick ass, mofo. Ultra Beast can fall on these nuts. I'm sorry, young Calumet. Let's continue this talk another time. I'm sorry, you two. I couldn't get a reservation at the restaurant. Seems like it's a very popular place. Hey, Missy. Mr. Nanu, I didn't realize you were here. Another one of those monsters appeared this time on Pony Island. I'll tell you more when we get there. We'll meet at the frozen restaurant in Seafolk Village. The next one seems like a really tough opponent, but you're ready for it. Oh yes, of course. Thank you, Mr. Nadu. Mr. Look, is everything all right? Of course it's fine, no problem at all. Well, I'll make my way to the floating restaurant at Pony Island once you're ready. Please make your way and join us. See you on our pony next. I'll be calling the right restaurant called Seafolk Village. Let's fucking go! Whee! And I swear to God, the, the, the cave where there's no wild Pokemon where Grizzlord, if there's any po audio Pokemon beside that, I'll flip the shits. Demonetize these nuts, motherfucker! <laughs> All of the... Are you pussy boys and girls on YouTube? Acting like wimpy bitches about being demonetized, but guess what? You can demonetize my nuts. So you came, young Callum. The chief sorry left to set up protection around the populated area. You sent her off to the wrong location. What choice did I have? She's reaching her limit. We have to force her to stand by and regain her strength. But now we can finish our little talk. We've got one faller right here. And the other one is Annabelle, though I don't think she knows it herself. Nanu and I found her ten years ago, unconscious on the shore of this very island. We just finished our mission there. She had lost most of her memory. The four things she could tell us. Her name was Annabelle. She came from the Huron region. She had protected some tower there. And as she was a powerful trainer. Then she was placed under observation by the international police. All well, because they detected the same out of ultra wormhole energy from her. Now maybe that she's wandering lost in the wormhole for some time. Regardless of that she entered the international place herself. And then got promoted right past up to her senior as Alec. Gotta hand it to the international police, they are really terrible. Using the same strategy and setting up another fall, even though the same thing failed before. Your assumptions 
Oh, half right in. Oh, this mission she chose herself. Perhaps something in her element, whether she was conscious or not. Perhaps she felt some grief over the fate of the UB, which came to the world just as she did. But if she's a father, it's her fate to be talking about UB. With a father about a fallen, UB will run it well with excitement, no matter how good she might be. Oh, oh really? If, if I'm a faller, how come there was no Ultra Beasts for 10 hour, for an hour? Oh no, I'm falling for the crocodiles and swirly tagpole things. Oh wow, I, 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 had a, I had a suspicion that we might be fighting Nanu again, but I weren't sure. Like, I, I wasn't sure, because... Because I think, I thought he only made a brief appearance in... And I did not go to the Pokemon Center. And I've only got one Dynamic Punch, so... Great! Absolutely fan bloody fan fan tabby dozy fantastic. Fantastical! Dios mio! Omelette de flamage! Get horsed, mate! And more bass and crocodiles. Even, even though he did have it in his team in a kahuna fight, I'm just saying. But towards the next part, we're going to finish the rest of this fight with Nanu, and then we're going to finally get to Guzzlord. As we make our way through the Pony, pony Plains. Yep, a hunch got no psychic and heat wave, of course. Hopefully we'll be more, more chill this episode because we haven't got... Because we are definitely guaranteed UBs next episode. Well, not really because... Well, next time when we get to the area we'll be guaranteed UBs, so... You know...